Alrighty then, mic check, mic check. Let me crank that music on down. Welcome aboard if it's your first time with us. It is great to have you in the crew. It is a good night to be hanging out here with us tonight. We're going to go over our trade results so far for the week. 75k is amazing results. We are coming on to, let's see, tomorrow is the biggest earnings report today of this week. We've come out of two weeks of earnings. This will be the last week on earnings report. So let's go through some of that. And we're going to talk about some of the most amazing trade management that I've seen from our own crew I've seen some pretty good ones, but we've got some great examples here tonight and lots of examples to go over and pour over that have been taken this week in a room, see the results of our members as well. Let's get right to that, shall we? We shall, let's do this. Alrighty then, make sure all the necessary disclaimers. Of course, the trading that we do here is of course risky, but I think Algobox is gonna help you out and you're gonna see the results here tonight. Results matter, that's what we like to talk about around here. So I did some quick math here around our profits here for the week. So 75K almost. And here we are only at Wednesday. So we still got two more days left and tomorrow is gonna be a huge day. Don't forget if you are in the room, type exclamation mark earnings for the list and how many uh, companies are going to be reporting tomorrow evening at 420. So tomorrow in the afternoon, especially around that 3 to 3.30 mark, we are going to get some extra volatility oomph and some additional awesome volatility opportunities. But tonight, let's go into a lot of the, we're going to talk about results. I'm going to literally walk through Monday to Wednesday. We haven't done one of these in, in a while, but let's go through. And there's some good examples here that I want to go over here tonight. It doesn't matter if you are brand new to trading or if you've been in our crew for a long time, there are some pro stuff going on in the room here this week on examples to go over, things about the clusters and the DCDMs. It's gonna be specific to a couple of those that I wanna go over here. So let's get into some of those. So um, let's start with on the far left, that amazing trade management. This is, uh, this is Rick, one of our youngest in our crew here, and he has just been absolutely killing it. And I loved the watching him trade this, the hit this setup, okay? This is one you are gonna get a lot of these trade setups coming in. And oftentimes you might get a little nervous inside of a trade, but I want you guys to watch this trade the way that Rick handles this trade here. And we'll talk about it a little more afterwards. I'm just gonna get right to it and press play here. And let me see if I can get on the big screen. You guys can see this. All right, so we're watching right here. Here comes, here's the majority of everything going on here, right? Watch here in the middle chart. This is on the Algobar threes. Over here on the right, what do we got? We've got an HMD coming in. Now he's got the touch of the Bollinger as well, turning into the green. MACV is green over here on the left. All right, let's see, can I pause this here real quick? All right, so here's what's going on here. So he's entering in on what? What do we got here? MACV is green. So remember, we're reading left to right from the uh, from our filters. So left to right, we've got, he's got nice blue power back here, power dot pushing us up. Great, you know, thought on the big picture time frame. We've got longs favorable and We've got MACV green. So he's looking for what? We're looking for longs. Here comes the setup. What has he got here? He is in, now the only trouble he's got here, what's this timing, right? This is small timing, okay? So this may not be the biggest play, but look over here. That is a double king timing. Can you guys see that? Uh, I can't zoom over there on the right, but if you can, if you can try to zoom over there to the right or go check this out, play it in the room. Over here, we've got double king timing. You guys should see that. If you guys have been around our crew for a while, you know. So what is the play here? There is an HMD on the lower time frame, and this is a king timing, not just a single, but a double king timing. So again, lots of opportunity right there. There is a cross somewhere close by involved, right? It would be better if this was closer, but this is worth a shot and an opportunity, especially because now he also has a multi-level green dot power dot coming in well it's not a power dot this is a uh, medium strength dot coming in here but beautiful hmd play on multiple time frames let's watch this thing play through and watch the watch the trade management this is starting out with you know he he did actually add here already let's see he started out with four contracts i believe he had he's got him on two so this is just like me he learned <laughs> he learned from he learned from the Vinny. all right we're going in with twos so he's got sets of two here you see this Boom, first time he presses the button, he's pressing it right there. He's a little bit behind on it, you can tell, okay? This reacted off of that green dot on the right. He's a little bit late on his first entry. That's okay. If he got an opportunity to add to the position, he did, okay? So as the position comes back down, watch him add a couple more times. So he's in, he's in a 
toe in the water, okay? Now he's gonna tap that button two more times, tap, tap, as he manages through this position. This is the trade management stuff that we're talking about. Let's press play. Boom, he added again, right there. As it comes back down to him, because we're still within the zone, let's play it. Okay, he adds again. Boom, coming back in, because where? Where is he? Over here on the right. All right, look over here. What do we got coming in here? Also, he's looking at that big fat delta, right? Holy shnikes, so what is what else is happening here? That means this is getting empowered, right? People are getting on the wrong side of the trade, right here, right? So beautiful, excellent work. Uh, every time I press escape, that happens, okay. So press play here, let's watch it. So he's got Delta King plus HMD plus, he's got a dot coming in on his mid time frame threes. He's in six contracts. Now he needs to adjust his stops. First thing he needs to start doing is thinking about putting his stops back behind the, the dots, right? Right behind the dot, very low heat trade, right? And we wanna maximize that reward, watch him play it. Here he goes, he's adjusting his stops. He's moving them, he's putting them back behind. Now, what happened over there on the right? Very quickly, and again, this is the MES, this is ES. This isn't NASDAQ, but this is moving very quickly at this time of day. He is adjusting the stops, he's looking, he's got a red dot over there on the right, but did he get one on the left? No, so he can still play the dot to the left for a longer, bigger position, but still keeping his stop management. Let's keep those back behind the dots, right? Here we go. Now he takes off. One contract, did you see that? Now, why did he take off that one contract? Because that red dot was there, smart move right there. Did you guys see that? He dragged it down. If you didn't see it, rewind the tape, play it back. He pulled one contract down, took off, he took off some, um, he took off a little profit, one target. Okay, so he's now he's got five contracts still rolling. Okay, now he should be adjusting his stops a little bit here, but it's okay, he know, you know, you can always hit the close button, all right? Over here on the left, he's starting to see the MACV starting to turn. We do have a turn, okay? This is not solid, right? Just because you get one bar of red does not mean you're bailing out on that. We still got long opportunity here until those gray bars pass, right? Very, very close to his stop, but he's still got to stop. Where? Look at that. One tick behind the green dot there. And of course, if he hits, he can always press the close button. He knows his risk, but look at that now. He's got golden boxes up above coming in going, I got a big juicy target up here if we complete out that PRZ target. Hold it, bam. Now, as that white cross shows up, remember, if that shows up, I'm wanting to add to this position. I believe he does, but let's see. He's a little behind it if he does here. Boom, he did. Okay, so add to position on the white cross, right? Continue to play. A little bit of heat, right? How many ticks of heat is that? Um, not too much. Of course, micros here, it's four dollars. So about forty dollars of heat here. No big deal, right? Continuing to play. Pushing up his direction. He's at seven contracts now. Pushing up. We're coming into up into that golden box has turned red. Now he took off some right there, right? Because he saw reds. He adds back to position as it pushes up his direction. Amazing work. Now, here is where, as that red dot comes in there, this is a red HMD on this spot location. And look over here on the left, he's got an additional level of confluence. It just came in another green dot. And now we're pushing into the large timing. This is an excellent opportunity to try to hold this through this area. So he can either take off half here, but if he's judging by his middle time frame, there is nothing in his way here. And let's watch this play out some more. Amazing work. Hitting some targets, hitting targets, getting more targets, pushing up in the top side. He's managing his stops. Excellent. He's got a green dot here. It breaks. He did not add to position right there. Might be the only spot that I might critique and I would have added right there. Boom, boom. Now he's got a pink dot. What should he do? Close that thing out because what just showed up right there? Power dot headshot. Holy shnikes, amazing way to manage that one. I know I kind of, look, you guys go run through that again. I loved watching this. I had to, I watched this a couple of times. Amazing work. Watch, I mean, just watch all the way through how this one developed. This is pro level. Again, you don't have to, okay? He could have just, look, a normal person, if you just come in here and you just click on the button and go long, put your stop down below, look for your target up top, okay? No big deal. But if you wanna, this is a master level 
adding and pushing to a position, turning a small win into a big win. This is the difference between the people making a few hundred dollars a day and a few thousand dollars a day here on these type of plays right there, being able to build your position and get your spot going ahead and getting there when you got it. Amazing work there to the Rickster. Man, crushing it, brother. That was amazing. I just had to show you guys that one. That was absolutely amazing. Um, we got some other great plays. John is crushing it this week. Well done, John Manigold there. Absolutely amazing work here. Now, I want to do a compare and contrast to a couple things. So the DCDM, one of my favorite plays, double cross, double moves. So you got an obvious double cross coming in here on this play, okay? Now, this is his original entry, I believe. Let me see if that's what he called it. Yeah, DCDM turned into a cluster and closed. Now, this is an interesting scenario here because of the zoom level and i will say folks be very careful on your zoom level some of the critique here on this make sure you're not he's a little bit zo too zoomed in okay you guys who have been around me a while you know this is a little bit too zoomed in which is where it's going to have a little bit of a problem here however he detected this as a cluster soon thereafter okay so we got the double cross double move i had just the day before talked about what happens when a double cross becomes a cluster okay i had just talked about that so i'm sure that was fresh on his mind and he abandoned this position pretty quickly. And it's okay, John is, is semi-new with the group and things. So I wanna go ahead and you know critique a little bit of this to help everybody out as this is coming in and the play moves, okay? So we wanna get a good entry on a double cross and the double cross, double move. The entry that he got is pretty far out there, okay? Now again, he might've added to his position, I'm not really sure. As he took the screenshot, sometimes that happens as people are adding to position, but this entry should be closer to these crosses, right? One little critique there, you know, try to get it inside the crosses. You, you know, above it, you should just be saying, okay, next time I can do this a little bit better, okay? And then uh, I'm gonna come and answer the question about the different sized crosses as well. That'll be different by a couple of ticks. Remind me at the end if I forget, or we'll do another video on the cross size on this. But double cross, double move coming in right here. Now he called this, all of a sudden it became a cluster. Why? Because he, he knows the video things that says three crosses in an area, this now becomes a cluster, okay? So on a cluster, we're automatically looking for a reversal, but this is supposed to be a double cross, double move out in the open. This guy shows up over here. This is a scenario where I'm adding to this position. To me, this is not a cluster. This is not nearby. Let's see how many bars have gone by after this, especially on the fives, okay? This is a fives area, very large. This is, I know this looks like a small time frame. It's not, okay? This is a fives time frame. Very, very big play opportunity right here. If you get in at a good spot on the double cross and hold it, add to position right here, don't abandon it. An abandonment should have happened if you got a cross like right here or right here, somewhere pretty close by. Okay, this this is not very this is not very close. This is on the distribution leg in your direction. This should actually help your position on the move up. So a little bit of critique on that. I didn't see in a, an after picture on this one, John. If you got this, kind of confirm with me later, but let me know. And what do we got here on a power up? Look at this beautiful, that is a giant delta, right? The most, the closest delta to that size is way back here. Um, that is, that's a good size delta. That's gonna be the one with the turn. So we've now powered it up. So that double cross, double play. Beautiful setup here, but the mistake. Now it might've also been time of day. Okay, I see time of day this is coming into kind of the end of day here, but this is one of those ones where this is pin them to the highs, folks. This is lucky sevens at the end of the day, final seven minutes. We really wanna push those in the same direction that the market is moving and let it roll. Okay, so a little critique on this. This is not, it did not turn into a cluster here. That's farther out. I'll show you one that did though. Okay, so I'm gonna show you contrast, compare and contrast this, not a cluster. Okay, but I'm gonna go through an example here in a minute that did become a cluster and I'll show you guys the difference in that because I'm gonna also talk through, you got, you, you're gonna realize when I say this that every cluster starts out as being one cross and two cross, right? So first it starts out as a you know double cross, but the third one shows up, now it's a cluster. And sometimes you'll see three, four, five, and it, okay, that thing is gonna, we're getting clustered up right here, need to reverse, okay? So, you know, it's good to be hyper aware but don't kill your trade too early on this one. That's the that's what we want to get from this. So let's go and compare and contrast that one again. Still, John came away with an amazing day. I mean, he's, I I mean, props to you on a 3K day. Amazing work. All right. Um, but six contracts in on this one um, could have added to that spot, and maybe he did. Um, but then at the end, I saw him say that he closed out because he said it turned into a cluster, um, and he closed it. Okay, that's what he says right there. So. Let's compare that one with um, our other example where this was a, uh, a double cross reversal. Okay, so here is one that 
Uh, da, 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 da. Here we go. DCDM. So he's playing this as as the double cross, double move play. The trick with this one, little bit, little. There's a few things going on. As this one comes into this spot, you've got a really long, lengthy leg into an area, which is good. If this comes out in the open, that's awesome. You did have a king crossover timing right there, so you got eh, a couple things that you might want to be careful of. It's fine to go ahead and enter in originally as a double cross, double move. But then what happens when this one shows up? This one is very close. This one's very nearby, okay? We now have a cluster right there, okay? So he labeled this one a headshot plus DCDM. Be careful of this label. This was not accurate, which is what we were trying to correct on this. Before this green dot showed up, this was a cluster. Everybody got that? Think about what I just said. Before that headshot showed up, this was a cluster and we should have already been thinking, uh-oh, this is gonna reverse here, okay? If you guys understand that, great. If you don't, you know, ask questions in the room, but this is a good example to go and look at. This was from Monday, okay? So double cross came up. Now the white cross showed up next without any of this other part here. So it should have instantaneously been like, let me close out this position here real quick. This could turn into a cluster. We need to see this push up before we can confirm that this might be a DCDM where we're gonna use a big double move, which again, big double move is gonna be, is a nice play from here to here. So to double that, we're talking about way up out here. For a target okay but the cluster comes in we want to reverse that okay instantly and let's watch this play through okay so remember double crosses if another cross shows up nearby becomes a cluster and you need to think to immediately first thought is we need to bail and reposition right so this one came through uh he did take a small loss on this you know not a big deal not not a huge one he he still bailed on it okay but he said won't give me a break okay well this to other people in our room were actually taking this the other way. As soon as that cluster showed up, people started getting short right here, which was the which was the correct play on this one. Now, if you did originally get in, double cross double move, that's okay. You know, what's your stop out? What, maybe six ticks? Okay, so that's the good news. The bad news is immediately try to recognize if you are a double cross double move player, always think if that third cross shows up nearby, I'm either just gonna pull my position or reverse. Or reverse, up to you. This is why I really like the double cross double moves because it gives you those options. Now, this became a cluster. We're looking for the reversal. And man, look, if you're in that reversal cluster, you've got a spot right here. Is that a red dot to add to the position? Yes, it is. And it's a king. The only thing we don't have, we don't have any delta here. I would have liked to have seen some delta come in on this. So we know that this could potentially actually keep pushing in our direction. But for right now, we want to let that move come back down. Okay, so watch through this one. Here's what happened. So, oh yes, it reversed. So what I actually told him in the room, I said, uh-oh, hey Mike, give me it. I said, keep taking pictures of this. Now mind you, I wasn't in the room very much this week. So we're trying to do some home renovation stuff and the guys are having to cut our power off and things like that. So I couldn't do any trading yet this week, literally at all. I've been away from desk, doing a lot of stuff with trying to get you know, contract people going on and handling the kids while you know my daughter's going off to jujitsu with the wife and things of that sort. So it's been awesome watching the crew, but this is one where I said, hey, you know, I would normally have put in the screenshots, but he put in the screenshots for this one. I said. Show me some after pictures of this because I had a feeling, again, sometimes you're going to get to a level where you can read the markets ahead of time. And I kind of knew that was about to happen right there. So I said, play the rest of those screenshots through. This is going to be a great example. So that's what we're doing right now um, for this. So we talked a lot about it. If you guys want to go see our conversation around it. And we watched how far this thing pushed down. Look at this. So there's your cluster. It's very easy afterwards, right in hindsight. But I'm trying to show all the way from the very beginning picture, I was able to pick out that, hey, look out, that's going to reverse, right? Um, the headshot that was there, that green, almost immediately pierced, okay? And, you know, it was a cross first. If it had been a dot first, then the cross, that's a different scenario. Think about what I just said. If it was the dot first, then the cross, different scenario, right? But boom, crosses come first, bam, that's a cluster. What are we gonna look to do? And we see it push through that green dot, boom, we can add right there, boom, we can add on the red dot, two spots that we can add to position. So if I'm in quarter position first, okay? So if I'm in, for me, four contracts right there, okay? That white cross shows in, I'm like, okay, let me think on it. I'm sorry, at this point we'll reverse. I'm looking probably at six. So we're looking at six on the reversal, okay? So then we pierce, boom, I'm gonna add to the position. So I'm going to eight. Boom, we get to that right there. I'm either at 10 or 12 on this. So on the low side, that is a beautiful trade setup that we're gonna be trying to push down and look at our exit. There is our green right there, probably about 15 ticks away. Nice dropout right there on that play for a cluster reversal. 
And now, remember, because what I said before, there was no delta coming in here. So I still expect that this continues to move and we can't see from the screenshot, but I'm sure the MACV was green at this time. So now we're looking for ways to get back up and take this up higher. And now if this trades right back through this level, what do we tell? Then we are now looking for replaying that double cross double move for a shot to do that big, big move, which that happens a lot, right? You see moves up like this, they come back, nice healthy pullback and a boom, very nice. So with our tools, how do we know when to get in? just when the system tells you to get in and look at that cypher spot, boom, bam. I mean, to the penny, there's your target on your drop, boom. If you get real clever and crazy with it, we're reversing that position up and out if you're thinking moves ahead, okay? That's that whole part about playing that chess move thing. How many, far, how many moves out can you think, okay? So as that play is moving out, don't just be so, you know, zoned in that you're like, oh yeah, I'm making money, I'm all the way, yeah, yeah. Okay, be thinking ahead. Remember that this play up here, if we push back through this level, which what should you do when the double crosses show up? Press F6. What does F6 do for you? You're going to draw in that horizontal line, right? Bam. So you should already have that horizontal line there. So what should he be thinking if this price comes back through and breaks that line? We're reinitiating the original double cross, right? And then we're measuring out in a double cross double move. Go watch the video on that. You guys know the play. That is a big, big measurement the measurement is from here with your f8 tool bam bam and then bam bam wham bam thank you man that is going to be a great play in the opposite direction as we break through this level because again no delta look at that big delta right there did that signal the big move up you bet your butt it did right i hope somebody you know i hope folks took this play so we got the delta that says ready up where's the entry point well we got to wait over here till the king there isn't a really good entry that's the only part that that's hard about this one. I hope maybe it came in on the threes. I see no long entry scenario here. So this was probably a bit of a tougher one and that did not land on a king timing. So you can't take a double king uh, timing either. It's over here and the move is right into the king line. That's a tough one, right? So no easy way to get in on that. But if it came in on the threes, again, I'm gonna look at, only looking at one screenshot, but hopefully some setup came in. Hopefully maybe a green dot showed up right here or a blue dot from a higher time frame like this is what I'm hoping showed up right there because that sucker is gonna get powered up. Now, do you guys see the double cross double move right here? Look at that sucker. Boom and boom. Very nice, right? In fact, it's interesting how both of these play next to each other. So you see this double cross double move and how far away this one is? John from earlier read this distance as a cluster, right? Not a cluster. In fact, that cross helps to push to the upward position. So if we're measuring from cross or pivot right here to this zone, and now from here up, do you see how clear that is? So a double cross double move player is going to enter right here. Where's your stop gonna go? Stop's gonna go right here. So your risk is right there. What's our target? Uh, let's go green. There's your risk. There's your reward. Are you going to take that? You betcha. Okay. So, but then you see another double cross, double cross. I mean, this is double cross heaven here. Okay. Coming in on this stuff. And I don't know what this one looked like over here. I hope if you guys were double crossing it, you know, in that morning that, that these were on. Let's see. This, I can't tell what time of day this is. This is on Mike's chart. I think he doesn't have his stuff in Eastern time either. You know, folks, I really encourage you guys to do what I tell you to do. If I tell you to put your computer in Eastern time, put your computer in Eastern time. All right. We'll talk about some other things about... Uh, about Mike. Mike's uh, running a separate trade room, um, <laughs> trying to help some people out in the Philippines, and I get it, man. But you know, there's some things missing on you. You need to you need to help yourself out and focus on the focus on the rules and let the tools do the work. All right, um, we'll address that later. Okay, double cross double moves, man. Some beautiful um, play setups there. I wanted to talk about, and I probably took way too long to go through those. We're already at. 24 minutes. I had some other stuff I would like to go over, but maybe I'll save those for Friday and do the rest of the recaps because I think it was really important to go through those two um, comparison side by sides. Hope you guys got some understanding around those. Oh, here was a final from this. Um, what level is this? On the ones? Okay, so MYM versus was the other YM? Let me see. That was MYM as well. What's up with uh what's up with your deltas there was it because of the 
I don't know. But that, that Delta looks a lot... Oh, he didn't have Delta previous to this. Okay, so it was a lot easier for... <laughs> Rick came in and his Delta is screaming at him to take that Cypher after the King. So very nice move on his part. Entered in right there and took the close right there. Nice play right there to the long side um, looking at that Delta. And I know why I could see why Mike wouldn't have been able to do that just because this... Again, everything is relative across this. So these huge ones made this look a little bit, you know, off. So sometimes your zoom is super helpful and sometimes you gotta like zoom to the proper location so that you can catch um, other opportunities like this one right there. That's that's real nice as well. Um, all right, so we had, we had lots of, oh, did Mike take this one short? I missed this part. Okay, so the trade never got back to this spot and taking this as a PRZ cross short. Let me see if he hit those. Did he hit that? Um... No after picture either. Okay. Mike, I am going to give you such a hard time, bro. You are out there for some reason running a separate trade room, trying to teach people how to trade with some other systems and things. And then you come in here using our system and I'm trying to help you out, bro. And it, there's no before and after picture. I mean, come on. All right. You know me, folks. I just tell it like it is. Thanks for hanging out. I will get some more for you guys on Friday with some of these things. Um, the results, I was going to go over some results in the room. Go and check them out for yourself. Um, I'm going to hit a couple of these real quick. Let's scroll down and look at some of the performance results. If you are new with us and haven't seen results from our members, okay, added up to the 75K so far already this week. 67% profitable, basically 5K on the day. Profit factor, that's the one that really matters right there. 2.28 and small max drawdown compared. Look at that. 1700 to a 5k beautiful set of trades amazing work tommy p what do we got here profit factor 13 does that say 13 his winners were 13 times the size of his losers folks for 2.3k holy shnikes remo hitting it was he right at a thousand bucks he said slow day only one only 1000 oh yeah it's right 2682 amazing work profit factor 2.5 winners 2.5 times the size of losers small drawdown this is what we want to see folks with your stats this is what you can do with algobox i'm so proud of you guys for crushing it look at this profit factor 8.62 holy shnikes amazing work there matt drawdown only 162 dollars for 1200 bucks amazing work there franklin um john has been crushing it this week as well so many of you guys absolutely smashing it sting ox 900 bucks 2.49 profit factor. That's the one that really is the kicker. 80% profitable on there. Anyway, these stats, folks, look, the tools do the work. The results speak for themselves. I hope you guys enjoyed that here tonight and got something out of it. I will catch you guys on the flip side. Thanks for hanging out. Don't forget, tomorrow is the big Thursday um, after hours earnings reports. I'm going to type earnings in the room. Let's see how many they are. Earnings says, how many we got? Tomorrow, 160 companies i think that was actually today hold on 160 nope that's tomorrow okay we after hours yeah so 160 companies biggest one of the week for tomorrow and don't forget we had fomc today so i think tomorrow might be some extra yummy yummy volatility and potentially we got ourselves a little candy day ready to roll all right folks for me pippy robbie lunchbot monster curtis g and the rest of the gang i'm sending out the big h town see ya